Welcome to the Friends of Mission Common YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a brief chat about the booklet Mission Common, a short history by Janet Morris. Well, it certainly looks like a nice booklet. It's colour, quite good paper, colour photos, some diagrams, some black and white diagrams. How many pages is it? It's 20 pages if you include the covers. How much does it cost? There's no price on it. Well, you can buy it from the Friends. We do sell it at stalls, for example, when we're at the Mitcham Carnival or, or at our open day at the Ecology Centre. But if you were to join the Friends of Mitcham Common, you'll get the booklet for free. Oh, I see. So what, is, what does it cover? It starts off with 1891. Yes, let's, uh, let's read from the beginning, the very first paragraph. In the beginning, Mitcham Common was completely flat. Its poor acid soils lie over river gravels and are infertile. For generations, the area provided only rough grazing, firewood and turf. The gorse was much valued for bread ovens, as it burns fast and fiercely. Surely they didn't cook bread using gorse. No, the bakers used the gorse to actually get the fire started. As it burnt quickly, they could then add fuel to it and get the oven up and running for baking the bread. But well, wait a minute. It said here that the common was completely flat. We look at it now, there's hills everywhere. There certainly are, and that's the story that is told in this booklet. So, so where did these hills come They're from? They're completely artificial. They contain rubbish in various forms, dumped over various years. Shall we read a bit more? All right then, but, but skip the bits where it says legislation. Oh, I'm not too bothered with that. Go straight to the bit where it says about the rubbish. Okay then, tipping of domestic rubbish, 1947 to 1963, so basically after the Second World War. As the population grew, the disposal of domestic waste became a huge problem. Since the nearest landfill site was at Rygate, Croydon Council saw Midgham Common as an attractive alternative. They offered, at no cost to the Conservatives, to tip on a wet site by the Croydon Road, raising and flattening the surface to make it suitable for sports, especially football. This was termed controlled tipping, and it was very much the thing at the time. And many open spaces, including Morden Hall Park, were improved by tipping. Morden Hall Park as well. Wasn't that something to do with the underground? Yeah, that's right. The Northern Line was extended, um, it opened, what, in 1926? It was extended from, well, Stockwell down to Morden. I think a fair amount of the clay that was dug out of the ground ended up in Morden Hall Park, raising the level of the land. Well, you certainly wouldn't notice that today on Morden Hall Park. Is that is that basically what happened on Mitchell Common? All this tipping and hill creation and what have you, it's all basically become just looking like natural hills now. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I see that there's a map showing the areas of tipping between 1947 and, and 1984. So it carried on a bit further than just the 60s. Yes, the rubbish tipping continued, but they called it landscaping. I see. So what what happens with these hills then? I mean, they, they look okay now, don't they? They've got trees and stuff on yes, them. Yes, for example, Janet mentions in the... In the booklet, it's about Mill Hill. That's the main hill between the Seven Islands Pond and the Windmill Road. The hilltop, being originally subsoil clay, was sticky or even waterlogged in the winter and rock hard and cracked in the summer. Over the years, the soil has weathered, and it now supports grassland with seed-bearing plants to provide winter food for birds. The banks were faced with sewage sludge, which is still too rich for tree colonisation, and these are covered in stinging nettles. So it was well, ends well then. Everything is hunky-dory now, is it? Well, you could say so. But a reduction in funding for the Conservatives over the years has led to the situation that many areas of the common are becoming overrun with bramble and nettles and, and stuff and so forth. It's a ongoing situation. Oh, that's a shame. What do you think I could do to help? Well, you could get involved by joining the Friends of Mission Common. The membership fee is £10, you know. That sounds like a lot of money to pay every month for a membership. No, not every month. It's actually for five years. It, it, it's £2 a year. Oh, that sounds all right. Yes, and as I said, you get this booklet as well. Mission Common, a short history by Janet Morris.